title of this season is Survivor Millennials versus Gen X. The initial idea came from our desire to want to see younger people play. I think that's the collision. It's old ideas versus new ideas. The culture's changing. So it's a really fun twist that we've never had before. Definitely some of the players are my kids' age, I can tell. And I've you know, worked with young people, taken them on trips before where they've had a hard time being away from home. Brett LaBelle, I'm 42, and I'm a Boston police sergeant. I'm not a desk person, so I like to be out on the street, just enjoy being out in the community and dealing with people. I'm a registered dietitian. I also have four children, ages 10, 9, 7, and 5. Actually became an IFBB Pro bodybuilder that I did at the age of 42. I am a recruiting director and a book author. I co-authored a book called Rise, True Stories of Triumph in the Face of Adversity. I did model for a Playboy in the past. I think I'll be fine in a bikini. Is that a little too much clothes? Maybe. I'm a TV writer. I've written for Family Guy. I wrote a couple episodes of Malcolm in the Middle. There is nothing that I've gone through in my life that compares at all to Survivor. I've been camping once in my life, 21 years ago, and some raccoons invaded our camp and stole our stuff. And I, that was the last time I went out to the woods. I run a law office with about 10 attorneys now. I go hard. I don't quit. I think I'll dominate any of these guys that are here. I've never been stopped. Basically, I try to put people in prison or jail. I used to be in the drug unit. I also was in major offense and I handled robberies and burglaries. And I recently just was given my first homicide. I went off the grid when I went to Hawaii. I lived, you know, via solar panel, water catchment, composting, toilet systems, all of that for about five and a half years. It took a four and a half year old little girl finding out that I had a daughter to pull me back. I always kind of said like maybe like the love of my life could get me to leave and the love of my life is my daughter. Well, I've been told by my ex that I have multiple personalities. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. I've always worked hard and I always instill in my kids, look, nothing's gonna be handed to you. If you want something, if you need something, you need to work and go out and get it yourself. I'm a, a marine mechanic and the singer in a rock band. I don't come from the era where everybody gets a trophy. These kids come from an era where, you know, everybody comes home from the softball game and everybody won. We're all going for pizza, that's not for me. I like the idea of the millennials taking on sort of the incumbent. Gen X sits here strong saying, we built this world. And then the millennials say, yes, and we're changing it. Growing up, I was raised with the mentality that I could do whatever I wanted. I'm definitely a free spirit. You know, I, I kind of go where the wind blows. I'm very charming. I like to make people feel good about themselves. I just live life and try to be awesome. <laughs> well, for starters, I'm half Puerto Rican. You get a little bit of a spice from me, and you never know what you're going to get. I'm an 18-year-old high school student. I'm actually the youngest person to ever play Survivor. I want to show people that an 18-year-old kid can go out there, play this game with the old adults, and end up beating them and making them all look like fools. I was voted biggest nerd in high school. I hosted my own Survivor games when I was in the sixth grade. I used to play Survivor online. I would actually, you know, go into chat rooms and vote out strangers. I'm an online personality and I play video games online for a living. Both my careers, both ballet and playing video games, has always been my way of taking life and making it play. I'm a ridiculous human being. I've tried to be normal, I'm just not. I have a very irreverent sense of humor, which is most likely gonna get me into trouble. I am a missionary for a Bible translation organization. I grew up in church, though maybe was a little bit rebellious. Really, there's a lot of people my age who think that if something's for them, it's supposed to come easy. I'm the type of person that thinks God can have a lot for you, but you have to actually put in work to get it. I've known what it's feel like to be up against a lot of odds and number one, have the wherewithal to not give up, and two, find a way to get it done. I mean, I feel like when you go through puberty, like junior year of high school, you sort of have to be able to laugh at yourself. This is a lot about like social ease, and my social ease is like... <laughs> you are either a millennial who might have a Gen X parent, you're a Gen Xer who might have a millennial, or you're a baby boomer, who is a parent to a Gen Xer and maybe a grandparent to a millennial. So no matter how you look at it, our audience has some entry point they can relate to.